So this is question 23. That x minus alpha, x minus beta, x minus gamma equals to x cubed minus 18x squared minus 122x plus 162. We are asked to find the sum of the square of alpha, beta, and gamma. This question is straightforward and it is about the beta's formula. So from beta's formula, we know that the sum of the roots is equal to negative b over a. In this case, it is equal to 18. Alpha, beta, beta, gamma, and gamma, alpha were equal to c over a. In this case, is it is equal to negative 1, 2, 2. For the sum of the square, will be equal to square of sum minus double of alpha beta, beta gamma, and gamma alpha. And this is equal to 18 square minus 2 of negative 1, 2, 2. 18 square is 3, 2, 4. This is plus 2, 4, 4. And therefore, the answer is equal to 5, 6, 8. So 5, 6, 8 is the answer for question 23. It comes question 24. How many integers has 5 this inequality? So this question is straightforward. We need to solve the inequality. So for this, it can be written as x squared less than or equal to 0. If x squared minus x minus 2019 equals to 0, the graph of this quadratic equation it is something like this. Let's say this is alpha and beta. Let's say alpha and beta are the roots of the equation. The sum will be equal to 1 and the product equals to negative 2019. Note that we are unable to factorize this quadratic, but we can check what is the nearest integer that satisfies the equation. Note that when x equals to 45, 45 squared minus 45 minus 2019 is equal to 45 squared is 2025 minus 2064 this is a negative. And when x equals to 46, 46 squared minus 46 minus 2019, this is 46 times 45 minus 2019. This will be greater than 45 squared minus 2019. And this is positive. From the observation, we know that when x is 45, this expression is negative. When x is 46, this expression is positive. So alpha is in between these two integers. So we know that 45 points something. And because alpha plus beta equals to 1, Therefore, alpha is 1 minus beta, that is 45 point something. This is negative 44 point something. So this will be in between negative 44 and negative 45. The integers that satisfy the, the inequality will be all the integers here. All the integers range from negative 44 until 45. So the total number of integer will be 45 minus negative 44 plus 1. And that is equals to 90. So 90 is the answer for question 24. Now this is the last question of SMO Junior 2018, question 25. Determine the coefficient of x of the following expression. At first, it may look scary. We do not know how to start. For this question, we just need to focus on the term in x. So coefficient of x 
will be equals to, for the first term, there's no term in x. For the second term, it is equal to positive 1. For the second one, when we expand it, you will have negative 2x. So it will be a negative 2. For the third term, the term in x is equal to negative 3x. So this is equal to 1 minus 3x plus 3x squared minus x cubed. So the term in x will be equal to positive 3. And for the next one, it will be 1 minus 4x plus 6x squared minus 4x cubed plus 4x to the power of 4. So the term in x will be a negative 4. And the pattern will follow. And this is means that the coefficient of x will be just equal to plus 1, minus 2, plus 3, minus 4, plus 5, minus 6, all the way to plus 2015, minus 2016, plus 2017. We can count the term 2 by 2, and we will have a negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. There are many negative 1, plus 2017. And how many negative 1 here? It is all together 1008 pair. So it is negative 1008 plus 2017. And this will give us 1009. So the answer for question 35 is 1009.